uh, things like that are unique. Obviously, this is, this is one tree. It's different than all the rest of the white oaks. Simply what we're doing is we have land and we have trees and we like, we need, we want to build stuff with them. So the sawmill creates an, a, the ability to make your own lumber. Our woods is uh, mainly oak in it. A lot of black oak and white oak. We also got uh, a lot of hickory too. And, uh, and then a few other random species of just uh, ash, uh, walnut, cherry, uh, some cedar here and there. We have 20 acres of woods and I'm not gonna cut down the entire forest and sell it all off or anything like that. Um, but with forest management you you do uh, you select certain types of trees um, and even I, I'll even cut down dead trees that are um, already dried out I can mill those and ready and they're, if uh, uh, if they're in good shape then um, you can use them right off now one thing I was a little unsure of is what it's gonna do underneath here because the back side is on the back side is it's all gone so there's literally about I don't know the trunk of this this tree is every bit of two and a half feet right here. But on the inside of it, there might be just a foot of material right in here. Bugs have just rotted it all out. So, so I'll get the logs up to uh, our sawmill. It's a Norwood HD 36 and uh, I'll have 12 foot logs and that'll handle uh, a 12 foot log fine and use the mill to uh, cut the log into boards. So the Norwood has the ability to have all these different attachments so that you can uh, do create, create a lot of custom cutting. I can mill logs into the two by four or the two by six widths that you need and they're ready to go. And then you just build whatever you want to build with it and once it's dried out um, another shed you, uh, even though it would be at a hickory and that's not normal like you would go to the box store and go to Lowe's Home Depot or wherever and uh, you'd get you a, a bunk or two of two by fours and you make your house with it and that's and that's fine but like if you got the trees and you got the ability to do that then then do it right uh, going together pretty good after you get, you wanna, it's not, you want me bring it down just, there? just follow the directions. Well, we're gonna, Sorry. well, I wanna make sure if we're overhanging, we're, the whole rail is centered on the, on the frame, and then we still need to use our, our, into the other or what? Oh. well, I need to, I need this whole rail tight. Rail? You would pay off a sawmill, especially a good sawmill, within the cost of all the wood, uh, for a house, as you say, you would already buy. You would pay for your sawmill. So, and it depends on the sawmill. Like the cheaper ones, so definitely one floor and and the trusses, you'd already have it paid off. So, when I go through a log, and you'll have barky bits, obviously because it's round, and you're making uh, a 90 degree cut through a circle, so you'll have these edges. And sometimes you can get some good out of them, and other times they're just left as the tops of my stack. So that's why they're they're more ugly and whatnot. And just depends on what you want to use them for. But underneath, even though it may look not that pretty, down in here and then all here, I've got good stuff that's been drying 
out in the weather. And it looks gray and it looks gnarly and all that stuff. But uh, I'll show you what it can do when it goes through the planer. Cool. Cool. So let's go check it out. to someone else's property if they wanted the same thing. They're like, oh, I got a bunch of oak. Or, or for example, they'd love to build a big live edge oak table and they are really keen on having it come from their land. You know, so, um, and it's a very niche market, right? So it's a very narrow window, but just having that ability to go to the, go to someone else's place and um, be able to mill for them. Um, and they'd want probably, you know, uh, half a dozen trees cut down and milled up and made, made into lumber for them, two by or one by material, and then they'd be able to create their own things. But um, that's, uh, so as far as a business, it's, it's to be able to save money going to the box store and also to be able to mill someone else's uh, uh, boards for them um, so that they'd go on to make what they want to. And 